For those who cannot remember history are condemned to repeat it. You just heard the sobering words from Victoria. They weren't about yesterday, yesteryear, they were about yesterday. Night after night, she gets reports from inside Ukraine itself. The support should have been sent months ago to deter Putin from making that decision. The administration should have never used their political weight to defeat an amendment to stop Nord Stream sanctions. As you listen to Victoria talk about villages of children and women being killed, every single American should look and say we should not fund one dollar of that to Putin. Tonight I hope that all changes. Tonight I hope the President stands up and changes course when it comes to the energy policy of America. Let's not send our money to a reckless, evil man that uses it to cause death around the world. Whatever the president says tonight or doesn't say, we cannot ignore the problems this administration has ignited. From a border, simply by his executive orders, become wide open. Fentanyl moving across our country. There's enough fentanyl in America today to kill every single American seven times over. As you heard, it's the number one leading cause of death in America for those of the age of 18 to 45. Those on the terrorist watch list that have found a way to enter America that we are catching. More importantly, those that we do not that have entered. Inflation we haven't seen in more than 40 years. Crime running rampant throughout America based upon a democratic policy of defunding the police and electing DAs who believe in not upholding the law. We cannot sit around and wait, whereas this administration told us that they would send the COVID test to you, just get online. People waited two and three months. That same thing cannot happen to Ukraine when we're supposed to send them weapons. Every single American wakes up every morning to see, did President Zelensky survive another night? They will not be able to survive another night if we don't supply them with the weapons. They're not asking for American men and women to fight. They're just asking to have some supplies so they could at least have a fair fight. America has a long history with standing those who believe for freedom. And we need to keep the responsibility that we have led once again. With that, let me open it up for questions. Yes, ma'am. Questions, if I may. First, show of hands. Planning to attend to see the union tonight. Thank you. And second, um, can you please respond to Marjorie Taylor Greene attending the White Nationalist uh, Conference over the weekend? Just clean you know up. what? Um, I commented on that on yesterday. I, I, I understand your job. I understand what you're trying to do. I've already commented on that. We've got a war in Europe that we have not had since World War II. We've got, we've got people in a village and others, and you can take my statement that I said yesterday and play it one more time. Yes. How many do you heard from Newsmax? What specific weapons are Republicans um, willing to fund in this upcoming spending bill? We've seen the Guard Act and what that entails. Um, are we talking about anti-aircraft and anti-missile systems, new jets? How far would Republicans be willing to go on this? I think we see what does Ukraine need to defend themselves. First, they need anti-tank missiles of where we're able to go. They need some air defense support. They need ammunition. They need um, rifles, machine guns, and others. Um, they've got the long list that they've actually provided to us. I'll leave the military experts to tell us. We've got a lot of military experts directly behind me, and um, 
we will be there. The real challenge is, just as I asked the presidents months before, why wouldn't you send them then? If you send them before Putin comes in, there's a really good chance Putin might not enter. Think about how difficult it is to get it into the country today or even to get it to the front lines as the cities are being encircled. And if we're going to wait like we had to wait for COVID tests, I'm not sure there'll be someone there to give it to. Imagine if, imagine if Ukraine had just half of the weapons that were left in Afghanistan. If they'd had just half, I imagine Putin would not have entered. And the interesting part is they're willing to pay for it because they just want to be able to defend themselves. They're not the aggressors. They just want to defend and save their own families. I think we should be able to supply that. Yes, Chad. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, what's, the, what's the balance? Obviously, Republicans are going to be critical of the president, going to you know, listen to what he has to say and, and take issue with things that you don't like about his, his remarks tonight. But when you face a crisis in Europe, there used to be this saying about foreign policy stops at the water's edge. Are your members going to be Emily Post about this, or are they going to be you know, on the proper behavior when it comes to this crisis time, when it comes to a national security crisis that the United States is dealing with? Well, let me be frank. It's not just Republicans. You like the latest polls of Americans. They don't think America is going in the right direction. They're paying more for gas. There's a tax on every American with the inflation. We want to see a change in course in history. Are we going to sit down and be quiet? No. I don't think Victoria wants to be quiet when she sees people dying night after night. We're going to push the president to do the right thing. We've warned him ahead of time when the Democrats first took power not to pass the $2 trillion so-called COVID bill that only 9 percent went to it. We warned him it would cause inflation. Yes, that's what happened. We warned him if they opened up the border, what, what would happen to the rest of America? We went to the border. So what did the president finally do? He put the vice president in charge, who only has been there one time. They've ignored it. When you said crime is r r running rampant, that we actually think you should fund the police, not defund them, because this is what would happen. This is exactly what's happening across America today with the rise in crime. We've watched it time after time. But it's not just Republicans. It's independents. It's Democrats. It's Americans. We've watched his approval rating being at a lowest level we saw in modern history. Why? And just the handling of what's happening in Ukraine itself. We tried to help the president by passing an amendment about Nord Stream. He used his political weight from his administration to whip members to vote no. We told the president he was wrong with how he was getting out of Afghanistan. If he did that, it would set the course of the world differently. We said he was wrong when he stood with Putin and gave him Nord Stream. We said it was wrong when he opened up negotiations again with Iran. All those actions have put us into the place we are today. So no, we're not going to sit quietly by. We're going to defend our nation. We're going to defend our way of life, and we're going to change the course of where we currently are. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. McCarthy. I'm um, wondering, if, obviously, every day counts uh, right now in Ukraine. Um, if, if you could, uh, any sort of insight on the progress, if there is going to be an aid package included in an omnibus, can you give us any insight as to how that is going to progress? So There's an aid package that's been brought up. We're going through it as we speak now. Um, talking to the um, military experts about what's needed as well. We want to make sure it can get there and get there now and not wait. Be able to move items um, because every day matters with us. We should also work with the sad part is we're watching Europe lead. A lot of actions that the president is taking are only after Europe has taken a, a lead. Thankfully, President Zelensky didn't take President Biden's advice and leave the country because we'd be talking today about a collapse. In his short term of administration, Americans have had to evacuate two countries. These are individuals that want to stay there and fight, but not use sticks. I think we need to rally the entire world against what Putin is doing and make him change the course. Yes. Can I make some Thank you for 